I've got this very simple React application uh, here in our app component. We're rendering out a header, which is this My Store link and this cart button. And depending on the route we're in, uh, we'll render either catalog or cart. We're here on catalog. Quick look at that. These IDs represent IDs of products. I add to each of those a price based on its index. I've mocked up a lot of functionality here. So if I click on an add button, it just logs out the uh, product that I clicked on. We're going to jump over to cart, which gets us to this screen. I've mocked up an array called cart items through a couple items in there and a fake total cost. This just outputs a table with all that information. It also outputs these uh, cart buttons components for each row. So if we look at that again, just mocked up some information here. If I click on remove, it says I'm removing this object, but it, none of these buttons actually do anything. Uh, so now we're going to try to make this application work and we're going to use uh, Recoil, a new open source library from Facebook. You can see here we're on version 0.0.7. .0 so all of this information is very much likely to change. So to get us started and close this out and we're going to create a directory here. I'm going to call it store because I'm lazy and into that I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it atoms.js. Here we're going to import from recoil atom and I'm going to create our first atom. So atom is kind of like our uh, Redux single object or in MobX it might be an observable. Uh, the whole point of atoms in this case is to keep them nice and small uh, so that you can subscribe to small pieces of data without having to create a bunch of selectors or weird stuff. So I'm going to create a const here. I'm going to call it cart. It is going to be an atom, which takes in two values. One is a key, which is going to be cart, and then a default value. Right now I'm going to set that to an empty array. And we're pretty much done there. This is this is kind of the basis of our store. This is the thing that we want to subscribe to for changes. I'm going to set this up a little bit further because we're going to be doing some more here. So I'm going to set up an index.js here in our store. I'm going to export cart from our atoms. We're going to jump over to our app component. Now, just like all other state management libraries uh, for React. We have a provider. They don't call it a provider. They call it recoil root, but it's a provider. It's the thing that's going to make sure that the components nested here have access to uh, the state that's contained in our atoms and uh, other things that we're going to be setting up. So once we've got that, we're going to jump back over here to our cart component. Uh, from recoil, we're going to bring in use recoil value. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. We're also going to bring in our cart from our store. Now down here where we had cart items, I'm going to replace that with use recoil value. Into that we're going to pass cart. Now this isn't uh, use state. This is uh, use value. So it's really a way for us to read that value. And we're also implying that, that while we want to subscribe to that information, we're not planning on changing it in this code. Uh, so if I save that, uh, we're gonna see on the right, we've got nothing uh, because we don't have anything in our cart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here to our default data in our cart atom. We're gonna say ID is apple, price is two, and quantity is three. Right, just something nice and simple. So cool, we can see that's there. We'll go in and add one more. We'll say this is a pair. Its price is one and the quantity is four, whatever. So we've got our, uh, our totals coming out fine for the line items, but what we don't have is a total for our cart. Now in our cart component, what we could do is just kind of iterate over these cart items and figure that out for ourselves. Uh, but what we're going to do is use another feature of Recoil called selectors. So here in our store, I'm going to create a new file. It's called selectors.js. I'm going to import from uh, Recoil selector. And I'm also going to import our cart from our atoms. I'm going to export something called cart state. It's going to be a selector. 
Similar to Adam, this is going to take in a key on this object here. I'm going to call it cart state. And then it's going to have a get uh, uh, key. It's going to be a function. And this function is automatically going to get an object that contains a function called get. So what we're going to do here is uh, we are going, we're going to end up creating an object. I'm going to call this part of it total cost. I'm going to say get carts. Now we have our cart. I'm just going to tack onto that the simple reduce function, which is going to uh, reduce by the price times the quantity. And then here I'm just going to return an object with total cost. Now the reason I'm doing this as an object is I can certainly foresee us wanting to say give me the total quantity on the cart and so therefore I could build those up and return the single object that represents the state of my component. Now the difference between the atom and the selector, um, the selector is a computed value so we're using the existing state to compute a new value. That's the entire point of the selector. Uh, in MobX, you would call this, you know, you would use the uh, computed, uh, computed uh, 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 decorator for this. So this is a computed value. So over here in our index of our store, it's going to export total cost from our selectors. And then total cost is not exported from selectors. Sorry, that's actually the cart state. We'll jump back over here to our cart. We're going to do the exact same thing here for the most part. We're going to say total cost is equal to use recall value of cart state, which we'll also import from our store. And now we totally screwed something up. Uh, objects not valid, key the total cost. This is an object I'm destructuring. There we go. Okay, so now we get our total cost. And if I wanted to come back over here and say the price on this guy is two, we get six, eight, 14. Everything seems to be working. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is get these buttons to work. Uh, to do that, we are going to create some hooks in our uh, store here. So I'm going to create a new file in store called hooks.js. We're going to be importing use recoil state. So uh, before in our components, we were using use recoil value. In our hooks here, we're going to be using use recoil state because our intention is to update that state. I'm just going to drop in this clone index function, which is going to save me from a bunch of typing, trying to do these immutable patterns. Uh, all it does is it takes in an array of items and an ID, returns a clone of those items, and an index if it happens to find an item with that ID. So we're going to create a hook called use add item. Obviously it's a function. And then very much like uh, set state, or I'm sorry, use state, we're going to set up our use recoil state. So I've got items and set items equal to use recoil state. And we'll start that off with our cart, which we need to import. from our atoms. And now here we're going to return a function. This function is going to take in the product. We're going to set up our immutable stuff. So clone and index are going to be equal to clone index items and product ID. So now we just say if the index is not equal to negative one, which means we found it, we'll do something here. Uh, otherwise, we'll be adding a new item. Uh, so here, all we need to say is clone index dot quantity is plus equal one. And then we'll just set our items to clone. Otherwise, we're going to set items, and then we're going to spread out clone. So there's our original list of items. And we're going to create a new object from our product, into which we'll add a quantity of one. Let's clean that up, save this. We'll add our hooks to our store index. 
and we'll jump over here to our cart or actually our cart buttons we're going to import use add item from our store and then here where we have our kind of mock add item functionality we'll just set that to use add item and now when we click on this guy we can see its quantity went up by one likewise there up to seven and our total is happening so cool this works now we just need to make one for remove and decrease we'll jump back over to our hooks and for the sake of brevity I'm just going to drop these in on remove it's very simple we just set items to a filtered item list on decrease it's pretty straightforward it's actually very much like the add item except that if the quantity is equal to one and we're decreasing it we go ahead and call our remove otherwise we just decrease the quantity so if we jump back over to our cart buttons or actually let's get these in our export here so use decrease use remove cool now back to our cart buttons we'll import those use decrease use remove and then we just replace these guys okay let's try it out uh, let's add a bunch uh, let's remove apple let's decrease this to three two one and it's gone cool now if i reload that we still have items here because uh, we set that up in our default so let's go ahead and kill that now we have no items and we need to deal with the fact that this is still mocked up here in the catalog page so all we need to do here is import our hook from our store come down here swap this out I think we're good We'll go ahead and say add item, add item. Ah, we haven't dealt with our cart button yet, but we can see that those items were added to our cart. So let's look at this cart where we're gonna have a quantity total here. Um, so this is up here in the header, right? So what we're gonna do here is get this total quantity. So we're gonna come back to our selectors. It's gonna create a new total quantity method here and we'll send that to our uh, object or we'll add that to our object so again just get the cart and reduce it and just add up the quantity it's very simple so back to our header we'll import use recoil value from recoil and we'll import our cart state from our store. We'll just set this guy and use recoil value cart state and we'll remember to destructure this. And we should be good. So right now we're at zero. If I hit add three times we've got a quantity of three. Three more times or two more times there. Three more times here. Jump over here decrease we can see everything's updating the total cost is updating the total quantity is updating the cart is updating everything seems to be working as expected